All right, let's be on our way, shall we? Yes, we shall. Before we get started, I did some reading. Printed a few things out, actually. And one of the things I read tells of a secret hidden in the desert that will make this easy. I have nothing to back it up on. <clears throat> so, you and I, viewers, we're going to try it. We're going to get out, we're going to do this, and we're going to lay to rest the non-rumor of this thing's existence. However, first I need to talk to the crazy man. End is near, heed my warning, heed my warning. We are in for a cataclysmic event, the likes of which we have never seen. The new leader of our world is not what he seems. But he has evil intentions that will trigger a cataclysm. The diamond eyes are key to the coming cataclysm. Do not let them fall into the wrong hands. The statue in the square will soon reveal the core of the cataclysm. Heed my warning, heed the warning of the goats. Let the chips fall where they may. I'm going to ask the chickens for a raise. Somebody is watching over us, controlling us. It's true, I tell you, it's true. We are merely sprites that dance at the beck and call of our button-pressing overlord. This is a video game, don't you see? We are the characters in a video game. Soylent Green is people. This guy is a nutcase. If I am lying, then may I be struck down by the powers that be. Um... Nah. Please take this reward for not turning me into something. You are a kind soul. Ho ho ho. I have spoken. There is nothing else to say. Bam. Okay, now let's go test this crazy theory I've heard. It requires me to run this way around a rock. This rock, I think. Yep, right here. We gotta follow this path. Let's smash this spider, shall we? With our new mighty fist of crushing awesomeness. Bam! That did crap. Let's do it again. Bam! Do it again. Bam! Do it again. Bam! Yeah, that's right, you better run. You're back for more, eh? You eel, you. More a Didn't say it was funny. Will you just die? Now I'm gonna save state because they're supposed to wait here for like four or five minutes. Getting dizzy. I'm gonna need to heal. So let's heal. I have no idea what he just said. Spin, spin, spin. Whee! <clears throat> what was that? Gonna... Gonna hurl! Let's save again. Hey, where am I? Now, supposedly we run to the right. Rice and spice. Rice is nice, but it's just a grain, viewers. I like rice, so I'm not insane. So, uh, supposedly, apparently, that gave us 99 of each of those. And I have no idea where I would go to check that. Alright. <clears throat> now, let us get to business, ladies and gentlemen. 99 rice, 99 spice. Spice is the most precious substance in the universe, viewers. The spice extends life, and the spice expands consciousness. The spice must flow. Where did my music go? I don't even have the soothing sound of goats. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so what do I need to do here? <coughs> uh, go talk to the man. Say no, everything. 
Okay, I need to find the Amulet of Annihilation guy, who is in stall number eight, which is uh, not that one. Where did everybody go? Do I have to go to the Coliseum? I'll bet I do. But I took too long piddling around earlier. It's a funny looking guy. The Great Coliseum is being prepared for the Battle of the Champion. You may not enter. Hey, go have some chicken feed. It's delicious. Chicken? Chicken? He won't even talk to me now. Ooh, let's go to the courtyard. I bet something's going down. Aha! Do, do, do. All hail the mighty and powerful sacred dog! In honor of the sacred dog's appearance, there will be a battle in the Colosseum. Our champion will fight a challenger to be chosen by the sacred dog. Show us, sacred dog. Show us who the challenger shall be. Pick the little kid. Pick the little kid. <coughs> Horse cannon? Is that you? You're the sacred dog? That figures. The sacred dog is chosen. Tiny, take our challenger to the Coliseum. Okay. I am Tiny. You're coming with me. I have green teeth. Roar. You wait here. Tiny waits outside. That way, nobody gets hurt. Flexi, flexi. Not until you fight Vigor, anyway. That guy has some sense of humor. Who are you? Greetings, Challenger. I am Pomplonius, advisor to the new leader of Nobilia. Uh, hi. I'm me. There's been some sort of mistake. I'm not really the gladiator fighting type. But you were chosen. There's no denying that. You're going to fight. Now, I'm going to leave and let you prepare. The gate will close behind me. When it opens again, that's your cue to come out fighting. Uh, yes. We'll say it right there. I got four save slots. Let's use them. Well, horse cannon, this is another fine mess you've got us into. Here I am, about to take on some tooth-spitting, sword-carrying champion gladiator. And all I've got is a femur, a claw, and a stick. I told you guys it was a stick. It's a durian cape and a bedel. Anything down in the snick of the woods? Let's, uh... Holy crap. Yeah, I'll take that. <clears throat> Did you find something, horse cannon? Oh, you're a tricky wicky one. Wax, wax, call bead, call bead, bronze gauntlet, obsidian helmet. Nice. Nice. Defense up for victory, viewers. And we got a couple extra call beads. Oh, it's time to go. But I wanted to do the marketplace today. Fine. You stay here, horse cannon. Stay. And don't get in any more trouble. I'm gonna burn down Rome. It's a sea of chocolate. Or people. Whoa, fire. Ladies and gentlemen, you pay toward entire seat, but you're only going to need the edge. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Entering the Colosseum. The King of Chaos. The Babylonian Bruiser. The Pulverizing Prince of Pandemonium. 
Figer, the indestructible. Whoa, whoa, Moogle, Moogle, look under the, the thing. There's Strago, Umaro, look the thing in the middle of the screen. Left to right. I see Strago, looks like Umaro, Gao, Mog. I have a stick! Ah! <laughs> see? Some loser with a stick. It's good to know that the crowd is on my side. This is like the big fight scene in Dirt, Sword, Sweat, and Dogas. I think the hero got pummeled in that picture. Oh well, here goes nothing. Let the battle begin. Why are you riding in the Triceratops' head? <clears throat> that hurt me. Roar. Cheating. Oof. Hey. Eat stick in the f one. I bet I gotta hit him from the back, don't I? Yep, probably. And that is not how you do it. Tried to kill me with a forklift. Damn. Ah! <clears throat> I'll stand there. I'll take your crap, buddy. You throw your stick, I'll throw mine. And the winner gets all. Holy crap. I missed. I suck. Suck at everything. Ah, didn't charge it up enough. Ah, boomerang. I hope Russell Crowe doesn't throw a phone at me. Or yell at me because he sounded Irish. Ho oh, ho, oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. <clears throat> so exciting. So violent. Let's use Atlas. I feel stronger. Holy crap, that was kind of scary. Let's heal. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, fool. Ah, cannot hold the charge when you run. Oof. Why can't we just magically teleports? And jewels. Powered up stick. Nah, that's a lie. Stick's not powered up at all.
I am victorious. Ooh. Congratulations. We underestimated your abilities. Please accept this sword as a reward. Heck yeah. No more bones for me. Thanks. Uh, but you know what I'd really like is a clue. Where are we? What are we doing here? How do we get back to Podunk? Hmm. Your answers lie on the west side of the river. They are the diamond eyes of the sacred dog statue. With these treasures, our leader will have the power to send you back to where you belong. Atlas is one of You guys are really on a sacred dog kick. This dog is really my buddy, Horse Cannon. <clears throat> he just hasn't been himself lately. The statue bearing his likeness holds great power, and the diamond eyes are the key. We need the adventuring skills of you and your dog to find and bring back the jewels. Well, as Dusty Duffy McGander says in Perilous Patrol over Pluto, we may not have a rat's chance in a room full of cats, but we're gonna go after that cheese. Let's go, Horse Cannon. Whoa, faces. Have you found the diamond eyes yet, number two? Not yet, your cleanliness. But I have offered a reward to the adventurers in the town on the river shore. Do you mean to tell me that you have those unkempt cretins looking for the jewels? This is an important job, not something that should be left to brutes with no sense of personal hygiene. They may not be clean, but they do know their way around this world. That boy you warned me about is also looking for the jewels. If he survives, I'll have a little surprise for him and his dog when they return. We've already had a problem with that meddling kid on the plateau, number two. Don't let that happen here. And try to keep the old coot on the other side of the river out of this. Creepy face, man. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Horse Cannon. There's a town on the other side of the desert. We can cross the river there. Then we can start searching for those diamonds. Oh, and now we get to do the tradey thingy. Are you smelling the chicken man? He's smelling the chicken man. <coughs> Next time, guys.